you are wanting to level your weapons up fast and actually find you're gonna have to watch this because this is gonna be the best way to level your weapons up and i'm gonna be showcasing you the best tips and tricks that you want to take advantage of to level them weapons up fast there has also been a lot of confusion going around of what is actually leveling your weapons up like playing the objective and um, all these different things like these little pop-ups that you see so i'll get nitty and gritty with it dig some testing with it and i'll let you guys know what does and doesn't actually work for the first tip i'll show you what game mode you exactly want to play and it kind of depends exactly what you want to play depending on the large map for esco zone control i would choose zone control and if you want to play like the smaller maps i would recommend domination occupy the reason for this is the objectives now you don't actually get xp for capturing like a domination point or anything but if you get a kill on the point, you do get extra XP. So that's when it comes into play with playing the objective. And so the next tip is to use the two times XP boosters and also get even extra XP boosters. You can get some through the battle pass and that's not the only way, but you can also, as you can see, weapon XP boosters for 40 minutes through the battle pass. But if you go to the Ubisoft Connect, you can go to reworks. And if you have enough balance points, you can redeem some really cool stuff like this weapon pack. And as you can see, you also get the weapon xp boosters that you can redeem now if you go to challenges on the main screen of the ubisoft connect there's time limited and core ones each one gives you like key to level up and also the time limited ones they have been given out some like weapon xp boosters and also battle pass xp boosters so go ahead and take advantage of that before i get into the next tip though make sure you drop a like and also subscribe it really does help me out if these tips have been helping you out at least but for the next one these pop-up things i was talking about earlier in the video these little medals that you can call there's two different variants you can get there's an orange variant and there's a purple variant now depending on which variant you get will give you more weapons. Now, the purple variants are point blanks and like shot kills long shot kills stuff like that you will actually see pop up those do give you the that you are looking for the other ones like orange ones that pop up randomly do not give you any xp for the weapons they do give you xp for your player level here's a crucial tip by the way when you load into a game you have a selection of characters you can choose from cleaners phantoms libertad all these people now i'm going to recommend you two different people and i'll tell you why i'm going to recommend you phantoms and also libertad out of the two though i probably would choose the libertad the reason libertad though is because you got the health boost and her all you can also use as a almost guarantee you won't die so you can pop it down and just get some weapon xp and start uh, mowing down enemies and you don't have to worry about anyone phantoms though, on the other side the shield really does help out for the mag barrier area that one does help protect you also to get more uh, kills in the game. Of the other ones, they have some good abilities, but if you're trying to specifically level weapons up, I would go for those. If you're looking for some class setups, by the way, you can check this video out here that will give you the best loadouts you want to use before they get nerfed.